Hey everybody, it's Jeremy. Welcome back to Pathfinder Wrath of the Righteous. This is our Beast Tamer Bard build, episode 67. We finally completed the la Lost Chapel. It only took us like 37 uh, episodes, so. I have Aquam. I apologize. Mm hmm. Tried to help a good person with their troubles and what came of it. Won't find peace until I track down Curl and Janna. What were they thinking? Any way to get through to them? I just admit I was terribly wrong. Another thing that's worrying me, the way people react to your power and mine. They think that if we've been chosen by Iomade, they need to be need to pray at our feet. Not comfortable with the younger warriors hanging on my every word. I feel alone. Nobody else is going to sit with me and celebrate saving a beer cart. I'd like to regain, if not the friendship, at least the trust of the other knights. Especially those in a, I respect and consider my friends, like Elon. Okay. Fair. Very fair. Can't make the demons wait. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Okay, run. Mm -mm. Right, we can't let him. We're, well, we're not supposed to let him. I don't want to hit him with this number three. You don't let anyone get close. There might be a good reason for that, but you can always count on me if you ever need any kind of support. <laughs> wow. Darren's eyes widen in shock, and he looks at you with bewilderment. Then he smiles. Have you any idea how terribly insipid you sound? Throw in some extra nonsense like you can confide in me, and I'll be adamant that you were raised by a couple of trite playwrights who put you to sleep by reading their boring scribblings on the workings of the heart. Fine. You know why I asked you that? Because the answer to the question, what do you think about me, usually reveals more about the one doing the answering than the one doing the asking. Now that I've got you thinking, let's proceed to the usual small talk. Quick save! Okay, never mind then. All right. Another quick save. Just exploring the camp, seeing what's what new options we have, what's changed. Oh, right. Uh, how's it going, Kyoto? You're um, you're uh, your your trainee priest dude did not fare very well as a ghoul. A slim young man, almost a boy, holding a shepherd's staff in his hands, looks with admiration and awe. He seems unsure whether to salute you or drop to his knees. I see you're tending the altar now. From humble stock. Ha <laughs> ha! Old Jod. In old Jod, uh, the the Arastal cleric from Pathfinder from Kingmaker. Ninety-nine percent sure he is. Hmm. <laughs> Wow.
What kind of help can I expect from you? Been put a charge. There's so many different ones. If you need them, I can read them too, but only here at camp. Ah, gotcha. Show me what you're selling. If only so I can bulk sell. Gotcha. Wow. I don't know why, but I like the idea of having torches on me. Ba, 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 ba. This is the guy that has the really awesome ring, isn't he? I think so. Yep. Red Salamander. Gives spells like Fireball, Controlled Fireball, Fire Snake, Hellfire Ray, Fire Storm, and Fiery Body. Honestly, it would probably be a pretty good pickup for, um, for. I think at this point it'll give her fireball out of this. Um, <clears throat> we'll, uh, we'll consider that afterwards. Where were you when our camp was attacked by gargoyles? Fighting, Commander. A gargoyle's hide is strong, but I managed to pierce it. Then I was crushed under the hulking body of that monster. When I came to, the battle was already over, so I had to catch up to your army. Yes. I mean, I, I still don't like that guy, but I don't have like a inherent socio. How can I help you? Did you think about what the Hell Knight told you? Yes, another dead end. Still know nothing. How could Trevor have parted with his shield? I can't imagine. must believe in your brother. If he gave away this shield, it means he had a good reason. I do believe it. I do. But what could have made him part with our family relic? You know, it's not only the Hell Knights who told me the truth. Knight Tirabade refused to tell me anything about my, my brother's fate while I was serving in Canabras. But after these events, she finally broke her silence. The thing she told me. So Seal shakes his head. Okay. That he was a good fighter, but a terrible knight utterly worthless paladin. He became more and more cruel as time went on. He started caring more about destroying the enemy than protecting the innocent. He gushed over prelate Hellrun and his witch hunts. Eventually, the goddess's patience wore thin. He beat up some poor fellow for blasphemy. Blasphemy, Shellen took away Trevor's powers. It was a huge blow for him. He left the city only asking, asking only that his disgrace be kept from his family. That is why Irabeth didn't say anything earlier. Wow, okay. Brother. My brother. How? He's always been kind, merciful. Where could this cruelty have come from? What do you think of your brother's fate now? Can't wrap my head around what I've learned. It's as if we are talking about a different person altogether. How could he? Why did he give his shield to that she-devil in black armor? 
Shellen. This all be a mistake. You gotten used to your new powers? Such power. It's like I'm a young priest again, taking my first steps in service to the goddess. When Shellen first entrusted me with the power to heal the wounded, I was so afraid to touch anyone with my hands. Wash them for a week. My mother took me by my ear and led me to the wash basin. Of course, the powers you gave me are far stronger than those granted to a novice cleric. Stronger than most clerics ever receive. It is not my duty to feel proud of them, but to use them in the service of others. And to ensure that what happened in Canabras, what happened to my brothers in faith, will never happen again. Nice. Beautiful. Okay. Into the tent. Oh, oh. On here. You can pick up the offerings. Oh. I'm taking that. <laughs> I feel like it's bad form to take these. Honestly, but... Also, I feel like I'm gonna take him. Let's see what we can do. Yeah, yeah. If I was a game dev, I totally would be like, "Yeah, here, here's gonna be this special, awesome thing that if you don't take any of the loot from the tent, you can get in the final chapter." Because the gods are like, "Yeah, he didn't rob us of our offerings or some shit." I, I totally do that. Blacksmith. I don't know why I clicked on him. Well, sir, I'm sorry to distract you, but I could use some advice. The soldiers are worried. Everyone can feel it. The decisive battle is coming. The big one. The one we started the crusade for. Some of the lads are getting real jittery, and I was wondering if there was anything I could do to help them. I asked the bards to come up with a rousing song, or maybe throw a little shindig. I'm a bard, so I actually do like the idea of a rousing song, but I would typically go with number three. But yeah, let's let's go rousing song. You do? Well, then I'll round up our bards after the sun goes down and ask them to compose a song so brave and fierce that Dresden will just fall into our hands. Our things in the camp. I own day be praised. Everything's fine. We're well supplied. Nobody's going hungry and the sick. Well, can't run a military campaign without somebody getting sick, but they aren't taking up any more beds than usual. Except... We're having a little problem with the soldier's gear. The army has a standard that dictates who gets what, except this standard is only good for fighting around Canabras. Needless to say, the conditions inside the world wound are completely different. The scouts have been complaining. The local vegetation is like razor blades, they say, and it's slashing the soles of their boots to ribbons. Their cloaks might protect them from the cold, but they're useless against acid snow or caustic mist. The scouts are missing plenty of vital gear. Oil of rope is a simple thing, but there's not even enough to go around. Imagine? How are they supposed to scale mountains with no rope? Well, I've been thinking, what if we issued them different equipment? Scouts, at least. I, I don't like this equip the soldiers as you see fit comment. I want to say more along the lines of that sounds like a good idea. Do it, right? Because um, I, I think that sounds like a good idea. Do it. This sounds like flippant to me. Um, I don't want to say three. Fuck that. And this... Um, I don't want to... I also kind of want to say this, but... I don't, how, I, at the same time... How, if we're worried about them scaling mountains with rope, I don't think putting them on horses is going to be a good idea. Equip the soldiers as you see fit. That's more like it. I'll make sure the troops have everything they need and then some. An army moves faster if it has fleet-footed scouts. I like that. Got nothing new to say. You've got nothing new to say. <laughs> 
Alrighty then. <laughs> Can't make the demons wait. Here we can. How's it going, Ninio? Ah, right. So, you're a Kitsune. Ninio tosses you a skeptical look, stating the obvious does you no credit. How does it feel to suddenly remember that you belong to another race? It is slightly unusual, no more than that. Knowing this fact will not help me write the encyclopedia. Therefore, it is useless. Therefore, I was right to forget it. And to forestall your next question, no, for now, I'm not planning to forget that I am a Kitsune. My abilities can help you, my loyal follower, in your fight against... Who are we fighting again? Oh, oh right, the demons. Ninio gives you a mag magnanimous look. See how much I appreciate your assistance, boy. Are you sure you really don't want to meet... Are you sure you really want to meet the mysterious entity we know nothing about? I am sure. I am convinced. Think about all the knowledge hidden there in the emptiness. It seems to me that this event is certain to be my triumph. The experiment of the century. No, of the millennium. He looks away. Or maybe it will become my downfall. A complete fiasco. Here's the deal. If the mysterious entity decides to gobble me up, run as fast as you can while it's distracted. Tell all of Galarian about the heroic death of its greatest daughter. Tell them she perished, but that she never strayed from the thorny road to knowledge. Wow. Nidio sniffs and wipes a tear from her eye. Okay, a little, little preemptive. Um, all right then. Beautiful. Fucking Regil. Ah, fuck off, Regil. Ember. Do the soldiers still rely on you for help? Even more than before. They come to me, ask me questions, wanting advice. I don't think I ever say anything clever, but sometimes it helps them. That's what's matter what matters, right? Your words helped me back then, too. I'm still scared that I'm going to say something wrong, but if you believe in me, that means I'm doing the right thing, right? And I believe in our fighters, so they have to win. Oof. All right, then. You're the best. We can do. Hold up. We go speak to Nura. See how this goes. What's up, Nura? Oh, shit. Yeah, I'm pretty sure Nura's a traitor. When the gargoyles attacked the camp, what were you doing with that vial of alchemist's fire near my tent? Forgive me, Commander. He looks at the ground. Despite everything, I'm still quite unsuited to war. I belong in a library somewhere, not on the battlefield. Those fell beasts attacked from the sky, I panicked. The fire, the screams, the monsters, the chaos. I ran to you because I could see you knew what to do. As for the vial, that was completely stupid. I just wanted to arm myself with something. But I knew fire wouldn't work on demons. Why did I grab that alchemist fire? Not something that would actually work. I, I don't know. It's not my first time in the wound, but I still haven't learned how to fight. Yeah. That's totally what it was. You totally weren't gonna, you know, torch my fucking tent go. or anything. Irabeth! Got nothing to say. Gotcha. The Tirabade's tent. I just love that they just keep replenishing the stuff that I keep taking. Can't make the oh, wait. fuck. Hello, queen. Oh, I did Dippo. She digging? Decline. Oh, the, oh, the, the boy boy. 
Yeah, boy, boy. How does it feel living for so long, beyond all natural limits? You're over a hundred years old, my queen, aren't you? I understand why you asked. We humans share this world with races who... Life expectancy is much longer than ours. When I was young, I also used to ask every elf and dwarf I met how it felt to live a hundred years. I shall answer thus. Decision, I... We've read this book. I don't know why. That's, I feel like that's an eternal thing with CRPGs is is sometimes they're just always going to pop back up with something that you've already read before. Like, it's just a thing that happens. Hey, Nevia, how's it going? Okay. Never mind. Let's see what we can do. Let's book and sleep. Quick save before we sleep. Someone who's fucked up or something. Okay, potion crafting. Wish a magic bank could be. Potion of heroism. Cool. Been pretty interested in heroism potions. Sure, moderate wound. Blur. I feel like a potion of bl potions of blur would be nice added stuff. We want scrolls of haste. You know, you're not that bad for a paladin. Not as much of a self righteous bore as the others. <laughs> also, not as much of a jerk as I thought. For an arrogant, immature, self-absorbed man-child, of course. Of course. <laughs> Sounds about right. All right, continue. Very nice. Um, cool. So. Um. I think we want to buy that ring. I think we want to test go. buying that ring. Or, um, Ember. Negative level permanent. Negative level permanent. Negative level permanent. Got multiple freaking negative levels. Oh, that's a. Ay, ay, ay. Um, okay, so we've also got all the levels and masteries. Uh, let's go ahead and do that real quick. Level. Stigmatized Witch. Ah, we are getting closer. I want to look this up because we are getting closer to... Um, her. I haven't done... I haven't done my due diligence... Um, We are Yeah, so I think at this point we're still going for stigmatized witch. 
I think we're going for Stigmatized Witch up until like level 10 or 11, something like that. I'm not 100% sure. Um, but yeah. So Stigmatized Witch. Ooh, right. Um... I think we just go Charisma. Okay, for this I'm pretty sure we want Cackle. Right, because we have... I'm pretty sure we want tackle. Okay. Uh, and we get some level 3 spells. It's kind of whatever. I don't know that we actually give too much of a shit here. Oh no, we get a level 4 spell. This is the first level 4 spell. Let's see what's recommended here. Probably Death Ward or Cure Siri, Cure Critical Wound or something. Greater False Life could be cool, etc., etc. I mean, Death Ward lets us st stop having to wor worry about the negative energy drain shit, basically. Alright, cool. Complete. Um, and we actually want to go back and check Ember's spellbook. Okay, because she gets automatically as a witch... Right, she gets a couple of specific abilities. Blackened. She gets um, Scorching Ray and Burning Arc at 5th level automatically. She gets Fire Snake at 10th level automatically. And she gets Hellfire Ray automatically at 15th level. Um, so those are... Fire Ray, like oh, huh. yeah, I don't think it matters. I think we're gonna grab the um salamander. Show me your scroll. And for Ember, we want the red salamander. Pretty expensive. Yeah. Most of my fucking money. But it's going to give Ember access to some e crazy. Spells, I believe she is now fiery body. Ooh. That's really cool. Fire storm, hellfire ray, fire snake. Cool. 
Now she has Controlled Fireball. So Controlled Fireball is pretty cool because it allows you to um, hit your allies and not deal damage to them. Or no, it deals minimum damage to them. So um, that's pretty good. Pretty, pretty, pretty good. And we also get actual Fireball. A little bit more use out of her stuff. So, um, we took Abundant Casting. Um, one of the things that we definitely could take is Ascendant Element Fire. Which is really, really good. Um, or we could not take that and we could take Spell Pin Mythic. Um, we will want Sorcerer's Reflex eventually, I think, on um, on Amber. But I actually do think, as silly as it sounds, taking the extra Mythic ability right now and taking Ascendant Element is going to be the best bang for our buck right now. You know, um, that might not be what we want to do in the long run. But I actually think we will want extra mythic abilities um, in the long run. Because there aren't as many mythic feats that we really care about. Full mastery could be good. School mastery, um, evocation. Yeah, we're. I think we're absolutely gonna take um, extra mythic, ascendant elephant. Yeah, ascendant element fire. So now damage resistance against fire does nothing to Ember. Ember didn't give a shit. Ridiculously. Okay, um, cool. Save real quick. Inio. Um, I believe our plan is to just keep going with Ninio. More intelligence. All the stuff. We got Greater Invisibility, Rainbow Pattern, and Shadow Conjuration. I think um, definitely Greater Invisibility. I don't know about Pattern. I don't want to take something like Summon Medium Elemental, but honestly, it doesn't matter that much. We'll just take Rainbow Pattern. The spells that matter there are Phantasmal Killer. Um, and as far as Mythic Feats go, Nenio absolutely just wants Spell Penetration Mythic immediately. 100%. Um, and then we have Regil. I fucking don't really know. Hell Knight, I guess. Might as well maximize Hell Knight. I guess. Yeah, Hell Knight. We'll dex him. Two points for religion mobility. 
Half a link. Um, okay, what does he have? At third level, a Hell Knight gets a plus two. Bonus on will saves against spells with any one of the following schools, sub sub schools, or descriptors: charm, compulsion, or fear. At sixth level, the Hell Knight chooses another sub school, um, and gains a plus two on his will save against spells of that type. And the bonus provided on his first selection increases to four. At ninth level, he chooses from the list again. Ay ay ay, gotcha. So he will have a 6, 4, and a 2, respectively. Go with Compulsion, Charm, and then Fear. I don't know how common certain things are, but I would rather not be compulsed. At third, this is a lot of shit. At third level, a Hell Knight gains access to his first discipline. At sixth level, he gains a second. At ninth, he gains a third. When applicable, the save DC to resist a discipline's effect is equal to 10 plus the Hell Knight's level plus his charisma modifier. Okay, gotcha. The Hell Knight can use any one discipline a number of times per day equal to the number of disciplines he has access to. So at third level, he can use his discipline once per day. At 6th, he can use both disciplines twice per day. At ninth, he can use all three of his disciplines three times. Okay, gotcha. Sensor. When the Hell Knight uses a Smite Chaos on a creature, he can strike the creature mute for 1d4 rounds unless it succeeds a will save. A mute creature cannot speak or cast spells with the Cool. Command. Can use greater command as a spell-like ability using his her character level as her caster level. Cool. A Hell Knight who successfully uses the Persuasion skill to cause a creature within 10 feet to become shaken can instead cause that creature to become frightened. Interesting. As a free action, a Hell Knight increases his base speed by 10 feet and gains a plus 4 to his strength for one round. If the Hell Knight is mounted, these bonuses also apply to his mount. As a free action... Can't you just do that every turn? No. Well, you can't, you can't because you can only use it once per turn. Or once until you get multiple uses. That's interesting. That seems strange, though. Like, only one round is not a lot. I guess if that round is the vital round. I'm going to come back to this. Shackle. When the Hell Knight uses Smite Chaos on a creature, he can impede its mobility. The creature can negate this effect with a successful will save. Otherwise, it will be... It is effective as if by slow for 1d4 rounds. That's pretty good. Tracker. Can summon a creature to aid him in battle as if using a summon monster spell. Save that the summoned creature lingers for one hour before vanishing. A, a Hell Knight can summon a wolf. A ninth level Hell Knight can summon a Hell Hound. That's cool. I think we just picked that up at ninth level, though. Rack. The Hell Knight can make a touch attack as a standard action to cause a creature to suffer incredible pain. The creature touched takes damage equal to 1d6 plus the Hell Knight's charisma modifier and must succeed at a will save or become staggered for 1d4 rounds. Okay, that's interesting. Um, Shackle seems cool. What's this? Pentamic Faith. This ability allows the Hell Knight to select one of the following domains. Grants the powers of that domain, treating his Hell Knight levels as cleric levels to determine what domain abilities he has access to. My goodness. Is there one that gives a pet? Because if there's one that gives a pet... Doesn't look like there's one that gives a pet. Um, Artifice Domain. And repair damage to objects, animate objects with life, and create objects from nothing. 
Uh, plus four on all saving throws against effects that inflict fatigued or exhausted. This aura for a number of rounds per day equal to your level in the class that you have access to this domain in. So up to ten. Um, at eighth level, your aura of efficiency gain grants your allies DR one minus this. DR increases by plus one for every three levels you possess in the class that gave you access to this domain beyond eighth. Uh, Hell Knight only goes up to ten, so you're only ever going to get one. Get lead blades, effortless armor. Okay, so you get spells. Gotcha, obviously. Used with the glory of the divine. True foe of the undead. You're, when you channel positive energy to harm undead creatures, the DC to to have the damage is increased by two. Cause your hand to shimmer with divine radiance, allowing you to touch a creature with a standard action and give it a bonus equal to your level and <laughs> ability lasts for one hour or until the creature... Okay, gotcha. At eighth level, you emit a 30-foot aura of heroism for a number of rounds per day. Okay, interesting. Uh, we can just put heroism on people. Knowledge domain. Become a tangible target, semi-tangible target as a standard action immune to critical hits and gain one deflection bonus ac bonus increases at eighth level and every four levels after that so it'll be two ever um at eighth level as a swift action you can grant all allies within 30 feet special insights okay interesting law domain uh you touch a creature all attack rolls as if the natural d20 resulted in an in 11. Okay, so, gotcha. <laughs> you take 11. Okay. Um, you can give a weapon you touch the axiomatic special weapon quality for a number of rounds equal to half your level. That's not very good. I don't think. Melee weapon to fly from your grasp and strike a foe. You can use... Okay, gotcha. You make a ranged attack. Dispelling touch. Okay, whatever. Um, nobility. Inspiring words. Not super impressed by most of, this, most of these. Protection. Oh, uh, this is good. So, an additional plus three resistance bonus. <laughs> and you can give that to someone else for a minute. Oh, you lose it. Damn. Okay. That's less good. Aura of protection. Resistance against elements. Not going to increase by very much, though. Rune. Okay. Strength really matters too terribly much to Regil. Travel, you can increase your mobility for one round. Ignore all difficult terrain. Do not take penalties. Interesting. You can teleport up to 10 feet per level in the class. Okay. Interesting. Long Strider, Grace, Mass Feather Step, Mass Dimension Door, Break Enchantment, Elemental Body, three Air, Summon Greater Elemental, Air Elemental Protection from Spells, Elemental Swarm. That actually seems pretty neat. War Domain, Bonus to Attack Rolls, equal to half your level in the class that gave you this domain for one round, minimum, plus one. And a bonus combat feat. Ah, gotcha. Okay, so bonus combat feat's relatively interesting. I don't know that Regil's really hurting for bonus combat feats. Or anything, but this is interesting. I think I'm mostly interested in, like, travel domain. That could be cool. Um, There's a lot of... It's just a lot of stuff, though. Honestly. Um, I feel maybe, like, Shackle or Sensor is a little... Um, simpler to use right now and honestly speaking i don't i think tracker is really cool to use too i don't know that um i'm gonna 
really be using that much regil. Uh, so, you know, let's... We can always respect this later. Let's take travel. I think, I think um, in my mind, I'm thinking travel, tracker, sensor, right? Because it would be cool to be able to teleport to mages and try to, like, silence them, you know? Um, so... And then also just have a, a hellhound. Obviously, I would take this immediately if it was a consistent companion, but it's not, so. So yeah, let's just take uh, travel and go from there. Seems interesting enough, at least. All right, what does he have? He has thundering blows. Destructive Shockwave could be good. Takes damage equal to your strength bonus. Um, could not be good, actually, because he has very shitty strength. Thundering Blows. Destiny Beyond Birth actually gives him a bonus to his strength, so he goes up to 15. That's funny. Flawless Attacks. Um, reduces, yeah, that's very good later on, it's less good right now. Piranha Strike Mythic, absolutely probably the route that we want to go here. Um, toughness, we weapon fo finesse mythic, um, he already has... sure he already has that. Do Piranha Strike Mythic, I think. Fine, either way. Yeah, like his damage is... Oh no, he actually doesn't have, so he, he needs to get that as well. I mean, I, either or, fine. Um, cause... Where is it? Weapon Finesse gives you dex mod instead of strength mod on your attack rolls. Doesn't give you dex damage. I have dex damage on her because she has Fencing Grace. Yes. That's what it is. Gotcha. Okay, cool. Alright, well, that is all of that. Let's get the fuck out of here. Well, I say get the fuck out of here, but actually... Um... Spells. Yeah. I always forget about this part. <laughs> Um, who do we want to take what on? I just want more mage armors. Oh, I forget. I gotta fucking... Oh, whatever. Do this for the next time so I don't fucking forget for the time. Um, two more birds. This all matter. More hastes is basically all we care about. And more Phantasmal Killer is basically all we care about here. I like Spontaneous Casters better, because I don't have to fucking prep their shit. You know? <laughs> like... Ugh. My god. I feel like... More Shields of Faith, maybe... Restoration, probably a line weapon. Not many. Shrink. It's a mass. Uh, this level is a level I don't really care. 
so much. Magic Vestment is better now that we know what that does. I have not been impressed by Archon's Aura. Let's uh, drop that, I guess. Hey, Mama, how's it going? Oh, oh no. It's crossed, but they're okay. Um, I guess let's just throw on something like a uh, greater magic weapon. Aaron, again, see, so much, so much better. I don't have to prep spells. Ah, prep more spells for her. Um, I don't necessarily know what that means. That's pretty good. If you do not have the Aura of Courage class feature, Aura of Greater Courage has no effect. Do I have that class feature? How do I know if I have that class feature? I fucking go look at my class features, eh? <laughs> that obviously seems like really good, though. Class! Aura of Resolve. I do not have Aura of Courage. So... Oh. I guess that's a no from me. No, I do have Aura of Courage. There it is. Okay. I mean, then that sounds very strong. Um. Anything else? No grace? I don't know, I kind of want to throw on, like, effortless armor. Kind of random, but whatever. Uh, heals, protection from alignments, pretty good. Um, bull's strength would be pretty good. The generalized protections from alignment don't seem like they're really doing much of anything at this point. Play. Kind of feel like we just um Move curse. Thinking cloud could be cool. All lightning could be cool. Her DCs are pretty low though. Like, not really built her to do that type of stuff. I feel like we just phone keep it on. And restoration. Stone skin. ER 10 adamantine. Pretty good. Up to 80 points of damage. That would be pretty. Divine power.
That seems interesting. Actually could be good. This missile could be good. Greater false life could be good. We'll try this. I'm kind of interested in more buffs and things like that. For her. I fucking guess. Okay, let's go sleep again. Try to get our spells back. And that will probably be the end of this video. If you're watching on Twitch, stick around. We're going to keep playing. If you're watching on YouTube, hope you enjoyed. And we will see you next time uh, where we actually leave camp and go do some stuff. So, awesome. bye bye everybody. Hey everybody, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, consider leaving a like, commenting, or subscribing. It really helps me out. If you'd like to see me live, head over to my Twitch at twitch.tv forward slash the distant horizon.